my dear friends and welcome to mystic star magic i am beyond happy that you are here as we find well we have some pregnancy messages for you so this is exciting um for those of you who are pregnant congratulations and for those of you who are wishing to get pregnant i'm sending you lots of fertility um pixie dust if you will <laughs> i'm sprinkling some on myself as well so <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead. We do have some tarot cards, oracle cards, and a little bit of charm chips. Actually, no, not charm chips. We're not doing those. We're actually doing Scrabble letters. So that's exciting because, um, you know, let's have a little bit of fun. Uh, I do want to do a warning just in case there might be like a, a little bit um, of a trigger warning. I decided um, to give that because if there's a little bit sensitive um, issues in, some, in one of the piles um, but it's not anything bad it's actually you know it's just more of to do with the past and and then but there's beautiful messages but I just wanted to put that out there just so you know <laughs> and um, if you want information about booking personal readings there's information in the description down below if you want information about the oracles or tarots any of the cards that I use it's all in the info in the description down below and if you want to donate to the channel also in the description down below it's not necessary always welcome but really not necessary it's just just I have it there just in case <laughs> um, for any IG exchange okay so let's actually look at each pile let's see this is pile one ooh, ooh. And this is my whimsical oracle. So we have pile one is over here. Pile two is this beautiful one right here. Pile three is this also beautiful one here. So let's go ahead and close our eyes and inhale. Clear our mind. And now as we exhale and open our eyes, choose whichever pile draws you to it. All right, let's do this. Hello, my friends from group one. Let's show you all the little animals in the background. Okay, so we got, you chose this beautiful card, which is all about comfort. Um, <laughs> so that's important. <laughs> that is kind of what I, I feel like. All right, so I feel like if you're not pregnant, there is a lot of energy around you. Just, um, I feel like it's, that's, that's like pregnancy energy over here. Um, it's up in the... I would say ethereal right now um but that is like here it is what you kind of need to do it's just there's in order for you to just be as comfortable as possible um so like taking it easy you know like not pushing yourself too hard I feel like that's what I'm seeing here for those of you who are pregnant I it just it's a little nice and gentle reminder that we do need to take care of our bodies and I, I feel like it, it's needed for resting and for just kind of um, almost just feels like laying down and watching the clouds kind of float by and maybe those are even those clouds could be those you know thoughts or worries just kind of letting it float by and just having um, a sense of just being comfortable with your body comfortable with where you are right now and for some of you also like I, I feel like there's a message of like you know like maybe even having like a, a little teddy bear or some sort of something that just kind of gives your you know comfort for for those anxieties because I just feel like there's a lot of anxieties whether it's that you want to get pregnant or whether that you are pregnant there's still like a little bit of anxiety because those clouds to me are like thoughts worries you know and you just need something or like I, that's why like a teddy bear it just seems like or something that gives you comfort like something that just like where you feel completely relaxed um and it just gives you this reassurance that you need right so that's something that I, I see here and see what other oh look at this you have crown and wholeness fertility and nourishment yeah nourishment is important as well and we also have violet friendship frailty and imagination look at this for i i guess that's for me i'm gonna say like again this is definitely a feeling of if you're not pregnant there is a lot of um fertility energy here because it even says fertility but do you see how it's like there's a need needing for nourishment for comfort for like you know like really taking care of yourself here the watermelon is also like very much uh, right now it's I'm like oh that looks amazing so maybe um getting more hydration it might be good because watermelon is good for like hydrating um 
I just I just feel like if you're if you are in your later stages of pregnancy, if you're like feeling oh like you know overwhelmed in terms of with your body is like a, it's a feeling like uncomfortableness there I guess that is why we have the comfort there's a sense of um acknowledging maybe the the like like wow you are about to give birth you know like this is something huge and big um <laughs> and and it's okay that you you feel those like emotions like I said it's okay wherever you are in terms of of your feelings never like just kind of watch them like the clouds um and then we do have a friendship frailty and imagination here <laughs> for some of you I can actually see that as almost like your your future kids um playing with their with their best friend um but I, I almost feel like yeah like uh, imagining things there's like that comfort that that in the clouds as well it's like a need for for that Im imagining if you're not pregnant maybe imagining yourself as you are or imagining how like amazing that will be um for those of you who are scared and you know as you are getting ready to give birth imagining that as well like imagining yourself and like as being comf as comfortable as it is as a smooth process as you can imagine it um maybe for some of you if there is like i'm not sure i should look into it but meditations maybe for for just or visualizations like where we can visualize you just being having that like a uh, very nice and smooth <laughs> right um birthing process that's what i i'm seeing here so like using your imagination that's kind of like you where you can get that um i also feel like there's also kind of energy coming from maybe past loved ones i for some for some of you i feel like almost like um might even be passed on pets um because i do see that dog there but it's like it feels like there's like uh, a gentle like this crown chakra energy of like maybe sending love or like messages there of comfort i just i just see that as well so for some of you that is like if there is a past um pet especially but it could be a past loved one they're just sending you like that like reassurance there like if 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 you're reassurance both both for like if you're pregnant or if you want to become pregnant it's like a, a reassurance it's like yes we're, we're with you in this process <laughs> it's really funny right I, I don't know it's like interesting here we go so we have prince of summer we have awakening so that is um hangman energy um we have the seven of autumn so patience is needed here and then seven of spring seven of wands okay let's look at this okay so <laughs> all right oh i like this so much okay so then this is for the awakening i'm gonna go with the com with the comfort like looking at things in a different perspective um, and I, I really feel like that is patience with yourself and with your body, um, whether, again, like I said, whether you're pregnant or whether you're hoping to get pregnant. <clears throat> it's like there's no like, I, you know, we do feel like often we're like, oh, my goodness, we're running out of time. And so there is a sense of rush <laughs> that actually causes stress, which is not so good for us. Right. Um, so a sense of like things are going to be OK. Like, again, this kind of is like. We're planting the seeds. We we just have to take care of ourselves here. That's that's what I'm seeing here. I do actually want to <laughs> feel like what else? I do wanna okay. Let's actually read what it says here because that's it. Look at things in a different way and all with and it and all will make sense. Don't worry if your progress is halted temporarily, things will soon start moving again. And that's that patience again. Oh, I love that. <clears throat> the planning the resources and the effort you're invest you've invested in your dream will reap great rewards in the meantime have patience and meditate on your next step yeah i feel like meditation visualization are so important for you because um especially like with this imagination there i just feel like if you are wanting to get pregnant there's like imagining yourself there acting as if like you know, like for example taking maybe prenatals like yes i can imagine that i can i can see like basically telling giving your body permission to 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 have it like you know to to be ready for for this new um addition into your life <laughs> and into your body so that's actually quite lovely um let's see with the seven here is 
But Seven of Springs um, is more to me like is a sense of defending, defending. Um, but maybe I'm actually looking at it in in terms of like almost putting yourself a little bit apart. Um, so what I mean with that is like maybe taking time away from others, like taking time not being with everybody, but maybe like moving away a little bit in terms of like, cause right now I'm seeing you on a hill and everybody in the little area below. And it's not always that, that's the seven of, of wands, but that's the one I'm seeing here. And so I feel like, you know, like, as I keep saying, like visualizing, whether it again, is like a, 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 a flowing birthing process or whether it's the pregnancy that you want, just really taking that time out, I feel like, to mentally be prepared and emotionally as well. Um, and then if somebody like, you know, because there's always well-meaning people that, of course, tell us um, their thoughts about things. Um, if they don't resonate, like, if they don't resonate with you, like, and, and even in my reading, whatever doesn't resonate, you should just leave it with them. Thank them for, for their concern or whatever it is, but you don't necessarily have to listen to it, right? It's, you don't, basically what I'm saying is, like, don't get yourself involved with others. If others are, like, making you doubt this whole thing, it's like, okay, that's your you know, thought process, <laughs> you know, like, that's okay, you don't have to argue with them, so be assertive, believe in yourself, and don't let anyone take away your personal power, trust that your inner guidance is true, and follow it completely, ah, oh, so beautiful, so I actually love these cards, because I feel like, um, they always m say everything beautifully, okay, the Prince of Summers, when I saw the Prince of Summers, I actually wanted to start off the reading with it, um, but other things kind of drew me to it, so Prince of Summers is, to me, is, kind of like a reminder of expressing love um so whether again <laughs> said there's a, a, a important balance here right whether um, it's in, in expressing love with your partner even expressing love with your baby or your future baby it's like expressing the love it's actually almost like to me normally it's a it's like that the knight of cups which is a kind of like a declaration of love and in in a romantic sense maybe that is important uh with your partner but what i'm saying is like a declaration of love for for yes your partner for your for your baby whether they're not you know whether they're in the 3d or the 5d right now it doesn't matter it's like the 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 expressing of love like like basically you're just kind of opening yourself up to it you're like yes I, you know like i may not you may not be here right now but i 100 percent love you and definitely if they're in your little you know in your room right now expressing love 100 <laughs> percent that's uh, whatever it is i'm still gonna read this because it is a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your foot feet Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. So, okay, that's even better. I love that too. So for overall energy though, I, I really feel like those are the, the guidance that I'm seeing here. Um, patience with yourself <laughs> and looking at things in that perspective. Like, yes, even if we have, there's a halted process, like whether you're, you know, like, you're like, okay, I already want to give birth already, or whether you're like, I want to get pregnant already. It's a sense of like, like look at things in a different way and, and, and seeing how they make sense in that way. And then don't worry about it, right? The process, if even if it's, it's right now, there's a seven of autumn, seven of pentacle energy, even though it's, it's, maybe there's a pause in some sort of way, it, things are going to start moving again. Like I said, for me, it comes a lot to expressing that love, expressing the love. And of course, you know, like taking the time for yourself to mentally and emotionally prepare yourself for this. You know, giving birth is, is, is a big thing. <laughs> Never done it, but I know it's a big thing. Uh, um, and so it is like whether, you know, like, and even you know, getting pregnant, that's also a big thing, right? Those are all shifts and changes. And there's a lot of, of different things you have to like mentally and emotionally prepare for. So I feel like this is why you have that seven of pentacles right now is the time for you to, to be able to work on those things. And it's very important. Okay, let's continue on. What other message we have May. So for some of you, May might be mm, the time you give birth or <laughs> maybe next year, that's when you get pregnant or may is something important maybe your name is me <laughs> oh actually let's see yeah well, there's, there's nothing really much and then time to plan right right now oh look at this i love it because that right now is the time to plan whether you're planning like you know like 
how are you gonna do everything <laughs> I guess it's like right now is the putting all the foundations there um so th this is like if there's any obstacles right now it's okay you're just planning uh making the plan seeing it as it ha if it were to happen so we also have discernment okay and and that discernment for me <laughs> for some of you maybe you're also like me and are like oh that's delicious um but it's all about um seeing things a little clearer i feel like maybe time also right now is with this and discernment for me is very much with that um hangman or awakening here it's like it's it's seeing things as and again this is like the brown which is the fertility the soil so okay so even looking at the soil here so you have to prep your like for for those of you who are bringing prep prep your house prep your like like i keep i know it's like i'm repeating like prepare 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 but that's what i'm feeling that that's what like spirit is telling you right now the universe is saying prepare right now is the time to prepare like now is the perfect time because once you know you give birth there's no it just kind of goes <laughs> right you give birth woof, it goes fast <laughs> um so right now is the perfect time to prepare for those of you who are wanting to get pregnant right now is also the time to prepare um but that's like a more emotionally and mentally and also like with your body as well taking care of your body um again maybe taking prenatals like that let me like what else can you do it's like you want to prepare the soil so you have to prepare your body for it right um if you know like do as much research as you can i guess would be something too like what is really like you know beneficial like how can you nourish your body um and, and for this and that's the discernment it's like for me it's just like clar clarifying what do you need to do what do you need to let go of what do you need to to hold on to that's what i'm seeing here um and then we have look at this personal issues with co will personal issues reaches resolution so i do feel like for me that again is something that is like it's a big thing it's like i feel like it's telling us that yes you have the potential and it's like kind of right there <laughs> let's see what your charms are gonna say that's interesting okay we have d u g doug or doug or dig um good yeah look at this not taking things seriously maybe eating something delicious <laughs> this photography um again how you look at things how the perspective of which you look at it there's a diamond if you look at things with gratitude enjoy that i feel like that's important here we have j also here so we have d u j those are important i'm like oh i was like oh and then this the wishful summon this is the wishing star so for some of you maybe that's a wishing star reminding like us that's wish fulfillment but it's also like we have to also acknowledge maybe actually say out loud what it is that we want um that might be that's that's actually how it helps us you know clarify the discernment is also speaking out what do you really want <laughs> in terms of all of this um so i really do see like a lot of beautiful energy here for you um again i totally understand the patience and everything but it's really a, a lot of it is for me like expressing love oh my goodness i just noticed something here for this one you have the star right you have the star again there's like and i feel like for me that the fact that the prince of cups has the star is telling us that love is going to fulfill this that's important that's the expression of love like whether you express like you know expressing love with your partner sometimes if we're trying to you know conceive it might be stressful for them <laughs> um i know so like and then if you don't see it it has the ladybug which is again good luck I, I really do feel like there's a lot of potential here so don't give up you know it's okay um people can say whatever they want you know you just keep seeing it you keep visualizing you keep um yeah visualizing is a big thing so just and really take care of your body <laughs> which is always a good advice anyways. So I hope you liked this reading. If you did, please do consider um, liking and subscribing. It helps the channel go and it keeps me coming back for more, which I like to do. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you sharing your 
energy with me and of course i appreciate you sharing your journey with me i am sending you lots of sprinkles of of like beautiful um fertility <laughs> and happy sprink um charms and like all this i what do you call it b would say little fairy dust so i'm sending that to you <laughs> okay thank you so much um until i see you in the next one bye bye my dear friends Hello, my dear friends from group two. Okay, so we have the winter you've chosen here. And just before I forget, though, <laughs> if you want to have another, like, you know, go into another reading, V Love and Tarot is, did a, a, a pregnancy with, you know, video too. So hopefully I'll link it. I'll remember to link it. Okay, so with that, that out of the way, because otherwise I'm going to forget. <laughs> so winter is an important time <laughs> so for some of you maybe that might be the time when you give birth or maybe that's a time when you conceive i also feel like the winter is um well, I, I really like this one <laughs> um because it, it sort of reminds me of the holidays i don't know i feel like there's a sense for of of wanting to be festive um <laughs> which is weird right this is just that kind of energy i'm feeling i'm like I'm feeling cozy and I'm feeling like being almost like surrounded by as much love and, and, and cozy things as possible. Um, so the winter to me is also like can definitely mean more of a time for us to go into introspection. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I just feel like there's the sense of uh, wanting this, this like, it's like a sense of coziness and home is what I'm seeing here and that's something that I feel like whether you know it maybe if you're craving it right now so but let's look what my other stuff we have so we have restlessness oh my goodness and this is again also like a winter kind of energy there with that restlessness um we have the coffee but we have it's it's almost like snow coming down um yeah so coffee for some of you maybe you're just <laughs> for some reason i feel like if you're pregnant like your little buddy um inside you is like kind of restless like yeah let's let's go let's go it seems like that might be something look at that and there's like vitality boldness and happiness um yeah i don't know what it is it's like there's something to be celebrated i i feel like when i i see this i just feel like there's like like family um and just this gathering and happiness and sharing um i don't know why that's the vision that i'm getting but that's the vision that i am getting um so for some of you i really do feel like winter might be when you're like oh my goodness i found that i'm pregnant or when when they finally when your little buddy finally pops out <laughs> and like oh there's the joy of it um what else do i feel like feel like there is a sense of maybe needing that joy here i don't know i'm normally i wouldn't just say like wear that that um okay the color definitely the amber is there is like for solar plexus so having a little more confidence in yourself but it almost feels like um you need a little more amber in your life you need a little more yellow in your life i feel like if if you've been feeling like you've been tired out which i could because i've been feeling kind of down to that energy wise um and start wearing like brighter colors like there's a, a need for you to replenish something um and so that's what i'm seeing like that yellow like those bold colors um just kind of to replenish yourself i i feel like that um instead of coffee my friends <laughs> i'm sorry coffee's not good for you <laughs> i don't think it's good for pregnant people but i like you know i'm not sure <laughs> like pregnant women i'm not sure if it's good for pregnant women to drink coffee um i'm not an expert so that's good to know yeah these are all like i'm not an expert at this but i just feel like oh there's this energy like of of wanting to move around um and that is actually quite wonderful um but it it is like i i, I really don't feel like it's your sort of like your energy but it's it's not really your energy it's more of the <laughs> Whether, again, like I said, you're pregnant, that's your child right there. Or whether it's, um, like, your future child. Like, you're not pregnant yet. But there's, like, this energy. Your child, if you're not pregnant yet, the, your child, your, you know, spirit, like, the a child spirit is definitely very excited, very wanting, very much wanting to come in. Um, it's like, restless, come on, 
come on, um, we're just waiting on something, <laughs> right? But we, it's like, I feel like maybe getting that vitality up, that energy up, building it back up. Um, and for those of you who are pregnant, there's like your, your beautiful little buddy is trying to, or like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to come out already. <laughs> come on. <laughs> so let's continue on because <laughs> I could just go on and on, but let's go. We have the two of winter, so we have some sort of decision here. Um, we have the three of autumn, so working collaboration. Let's see, we have princess of winter. So it's speaking some sort of truth and unity. And that is, okay, again, that unity is the Hierophant. And that for me, like even right here, you can see that there's like two little buddies. Um, excuse my dirty nails. I was actually um, doing gardening today. So, and I, even though I washed, it just still kind of gets stuck. Anyways, uh, about that. So unity, it's all about learning. So something we're learning a process right now in the hair fund energy embrace this time of deep spiritual growth and that's the winter energy i'm feeling again because look it's the polar bears here so embrace this time of deep spiritual growth you may feel called to act as a mentor find a new teacher or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path oh look at them there's a butterfly here if i don't know if you can see it but there's like a little butterfly as you're transforming i do feel like for for me it really is that you're gonna like um possibly learning from your mom or somebody who has that who has gone through the experience or for for others of you i feel like you're going to be that mama bear is what i'm seeing here as well um but it is like a sense of this this whole process is all about learning something here and i'm curious about this two of winters because it's definitely to this a decision so what do we have okay procrastinating Procrastination and worrying what others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If you're torn between your desires and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. Okay, so I wonder if you're putting too much, somebody's interfering here. Um, I really feel like that, is, so maybe it's like a worry about others. So I'm going to clarify that in just a bit. But let's look at the three of autumn, which is all about collaboration. So here we have your most side and fine pro profitable career comes from following in your passion, listening to your heart and doing what brings you joy. Your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth into the world. And this is that energy here of the amber, vitality, boldness and happiness. So something, so what I'm seeing here actually, and we're, we're still going to clarify this, but what I'm seeing here is that there is something, um, that might just be like maybe something or someone that's quite not letting you have that it's like because i i don't quite understand because you're naturally vibrant there's something that's keeping you down though um let's look at what the seagull says Ooh. let's see so we have this is an intellect uh, an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution if helpful information is Okay, if helpful information is put to if helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. <laughs> so maybe yeah, so maybe some sort of help is coming like from somebody who's actually experienced. So sometimes we but then like I I well, maybe I only said it from somebody. I probably said it for group 1. <laughs> it's a sort of a, a different message here but kind of similar in terms of when somebody tells us something um oh, well it could resonate if we can hear it, if the, we can hear the truth of it sometimes it rubs us the wrong way sometimes and by rubs us the wrong way there is a triggering point in there um so we have to be we have to be aware of what the trigger is for us and why that is being triggered um i do feel like maybe not necessarily that somebody else has to tell you something but maybe you have to tell somebody else i don't know why but i'm feeling like there's a need here for boundaries of some kind um but i do want to like i said i do want to clarify this two of swords energy so let me go ahead and let's do this one okay why is this two of swords doing here? What is this two of swords doing here? What is this? These of cups, my friends. Now, I wanted to kind of be in this shape. So, it wasn't sure if it wanted to be upside down or if you wanted to do. So, I feel like 
So it's a choice between a new beginning of some kind or like something. Oh, that could be really beautiful. Um, because it that it could be like like I said, that could be pregnancy coming through here, like that new beginning. Um, and it also feels like this one did definitely want to come out this way. Um, so we have the Empress um in reverse and then of course the empress we needed to have the empress in, in the upright because that's how that's why we have the mama again like mama bear mama cat um so there's sort of like maybe you are making the decision here of whether or not you even want to have kids but i feel like that would be something that you do want um but again maybe that could be like somebody who's like mother figure coming in here um and you're disagreeing with them because there's some sort of like <laughs> sort of a choice that you're trying to make and the choice what i'm seeing here is this empress energy but it's like an empress in reverse um what it is is actually interesting because it's a, a bit challenging but i kind of enjoy this so we have the choice of accepting something new, like a, a new, like an offer. And then usually the ace coming from spirit here, like there's almost like an angel coming here. Maybe you can't see it, but it's like a little, um, like a little dove coming here, offering peace maybe. So maybe somebody from your past maybe um, is trying to offer you peace and you're not sure if you're going to accept it. Um, but, and of course, that's always listen to your own inner guidance, like it says there. Um, versus somebody else but what I what I am seeing here is uh, what am I seeing that there is a potential for a new beginning with this person or a new potential for a new beginning but you have to be open for it um, and I feel like the reason why this is in reverse is because you're not really open it might be emotions um, because sometimes the Empress when it's in reverse can be about like our feminine energy not being um, balanced right there. It's it's more of like, how do I describe it? It's sometimes it could be a bit petty. <laughs> I'm not calling you petty. I'm just saying that that energy can be a little petty, can be a little holding on to grudges, holding on to things. And I feel like that, but it, it's not because I, I don't feel that that's the energy you are. This is your energy. This is vitality boldness and happiness that's who you are right um but but maybe somebody again like could have rubbed you the wrong way and then shifted that around um but there is a sense here what i'm seeing here is there might be some truth to what somebody's saying but a part of like this hierophant is like learning we we are always learning right even if you're a teacher you're always learning and even if you're a student you could always like you know you're always teaching somebody something um so there is some truth if somebody offered you maybe not the most diplomatic way of telling you some advice maybe try to see it not from an emotional point of view but rather from looking at it like is this a practical advice is this something that is important to me because i do see this three of autumn to me is a collaboration like you there is a need for collaboration like you know uh, especially when when we are like gonna you know add maybe to the family because i'm seeing maybe it could be a mother-in-law it could be even your own mom it's like you don't want to be in a place where you're kind of shutting down instead you want to be the vital energy that you are beautiful bold and happy um let's see what other stuff is saying yeah so you can count on it you're definitely like if you're if you're worried about getting pregnant and that's also like if if you are worried about getting pregnant there somebody might be telling you like hey you're not you know like might be giving you advice on how to do it maybe there is some truth in there to help you um or maybe taking it from as that they want to help you hopefully that makes sense okay and passion yeah see this like this is your energy <laughs> like i can't i can't help it this is like your total energy there it's, it's just like bold and happy and there's like passion and that's gonna that's how you need to go that's what needs to guide you um and this passion not not being like like i really don't feel like closing down is not something that's um for you you're like meant to be wide open like open open because there's lots of beautiful things coming for you so we have 
all these amazing energies and look new start is coming and i really feel that again it is this ace of cups available it's available to you if you're not if you're not blocking it like i said um so i feel like for some of you the like, new beginning could be of course giving birth and for some of you it could just be um getting pregnant that's a new beginning um, but it's also like you you get to decide what you want for yourself is what I, I'm really thinking that's like important here. Okay, let's see what your stuff. Okay. We have B. Oh, a boy. Look at that boy. It's a I, but I'm seeing it as a boy. So that's important. We have hedgehog. Yeah. So I feel like you might be a little prickly right now. So just be you know, aware of it. That's something to be aware of. Uh, oh this is like you know like being stressed out like oh my goodness no not to be stressed out okay i'm here again i'm seeing the angel here and i'm seeing it with the dove here so i feel like the universe is trying to give you a, some sort of new beginning of some kind of love fulfillment coming through um and it's divinely done so so please just be aware of that don't block it with it and like get that the universe is telling you you're doing a great job my friend um we have the little look at that love again it's like a, a need for like love a lead for collaboration i really do feel like that maybe for some of you might get twins um because it's a boy and a girl but it's it's or like trying to balance again your your feminine divine feminine divine masculine but i, I just feels like i don't know but I, I do see like more than one kid <laughs> that's what i'm seeing like oh like I, whenever I see that, that winter, I see like a whole family just gathering around and, and having like a, a great time um, and just kids running around. That's the, I, I really love that scene. Um, so, but just remember, just be aware that we might be a little prickly right now. So <laughs> like not to get it to be too much because we do want to be open to this new beginning, to this new cup. There's like, like I said, like there's like angel energy coming through here trying to help. So hopefully i hope you liked this reading if you did please do consider liking um and subscribing it helps the channel grow and, and you know it just keeps me coming back for more of these um and i'm just i feel so blessed that i get to be here and of course have you you know be able to this reading for you thank you so much for sharing your energy sharing your time and of course sharing your journey with me i am sending you lots of sprinkle of of sprinkle and fairy dust of fertility and happiness and um yeah more of that do wear more yellow more bold colors for yourself okay until i see you in the next one bye bye my dear friends hello my dear friends from group three so you are on course <laughs> So what are you on course for? You're on course for, and you have balance here too, so you're on course. Whether you are on course, whether you're pregnant or whether you're on course um, to become pregnant. Look at that. You just have to find this balance, right? Either way, we need to like find this. I almost feels like, because I, I feel like this green color is there. Finding also balance with our emotions um, because there's a fieriness, you're, but you're doing well. This, this is a reminder that you need to have this balance within yourself. Um, but I, I feel like that's a very positive sign that you have this on course. You're getting there. Um, we also have service. Okay. And this feels like. And then we have this one. So we have white. So purity, honor, new beginnings. For some of you, I feel like maybe saging might be a good idea. Like, I feel like there's a need for you to... Oh, like meditations, kind of like finding your inner balance is what I'm seeing. So maybe staging it is an important thing, clearing out old and and, and letting you come in here. Um, yeah, new beginnings. I feel like this service, opening your heart to to like be of service to others, which is actually interesting for me um, because I feel like that's going to help balance you again. Um, Especially if you're like, if you're in a state of like, you're like wanting to get pregnant and you're just kind of over focusing on it. Um, I feel like if you, instead of like focusing on that, but maybe spending time like where you can um, volunteer or something where, where there's kids, that's going to be important. Being of service is going to help you um, more, I think, of fulfilling you and getting you ready for it. So if you're that might be something for for some of you 
who are wanting to get preg pregnant that is a message i'm saying here if you like not focusing so much on that and being like when is it going to happen when is it going to happen it's already on course you don't have to worry the the whatever it is it's on its path there's just need for for inner peace here is what i'm seeing that balance is there um and the way to help you is to get this service there to to kind of go you know focusing on serving others like definitely if you can like maybe even if it can be your relatives if they if somebody has a, a kid that you you know can babysit maybe helping them it's like that's what i i'm seeing i just feel like there's a sense of coming here and then again with this new beginning and staging again still kind of like trying to find this oh, sense of peace that i'm seeing here um honor hmm. I think that that's where we're gonna go with that. Um, actually, I actually wanna see what else this is. Sometimes I get really curious. Um, what is this white purity on or new beginnings doing here? Okay, let's see what that one is. All right, we got this. Okay, again, okay, so honor, a collaboration with others. So I, I do feel like there is a sense of um, and new beginnings is sort of like something new, a new sense of clarity. Helping others is really what I'm seeing here as is going to help you. I don't know why that is. Um, even if you are pregnant, if there's a way for, for helping, being of service to others, um, it can even be, and I'm not even saying that you have to go volunteer, but it might be even like sharing your story with others. There's something where you have to share <laughs> something um, and collaborate with others. There's some sort of um, coming through here. I don't know why that is, but that that's what I'm seeing here. Very important. Let's continue on. So yeah, I feel like because then there's a sense of more clarity coming through here. We have the five, okay, the life experience. Okay, now I'm seeing one. Okay. So that's the tower moment, my friends. Um, we have the six of summers. So that is the six of cups. We have the release to death. Um, and then we have the queen of summers. Yeah, look at this. Quite beautiful. You also have um, very possibly, um, you might be, an empath you also definitely have um some sort of like spiritual um like psychic gifts i would say so what i'm seeing here right i feel like and and this is very a, a very strong and particular message for some of you um so if this doesn't resonate um i mean take what resonates and leave what doesn't but this is a, a very particular one this is the life experiences for me all about the tower moment and so since it has to do with pregnancy maybe if you've had a miscarriage maybe i you know like or if you if something happened along those lines um there's a need for you to share it with others there's a need to like i really said it's something about needing to share your story with others um i don't know why that is but that is important um it's almost like you are there to give hope to others um, and so I think that's important. Mm -mm. Yeah. And I feel like there's also a sense for you to, to use it to transform. And there's also a need for sharing it is to release, again, sorry. Oh, maybe I didn't say this, but here, um, I was gardening today, so my nails are extra dirty. I apologize. Um, so we, with that release, with that death, that we have there is a need to um, release the past. That's what I'm seeing here. So by maybe sharing your story, I could be writing, and it also is a sense of coming to clarify it um, with this um, sage. It's almost like I feel like something from your past is keeping you there, um, and 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 so now you have to kind of open yourself up. Um, release it whatever it is that that's been happening here and then move forward i'm gonna read what what it's saying here you know sometimes these are very important so important changes are coming into your life that will require you you to take action don't hesitate to move in new directions you know you are you know are right for you okay and that's an important thing there's a sense of transformation here um this is the six of of summer so this could be childhood so maybe something in your childhood or for me this is a confirmation that if you are wanting to get pregnant there is a lot of fertility energy here there was already kind of here with this and also with that queen over there so love and care of children could become an important part of your life or people from your childhood may return to it old memories can be healed or possibly 
or possibly old childhood dreams are ready to be revived. There's a lot of healing in this pile. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, for some of you, I also feel like, I don't know why I want to say that. It's like, um, <laughs> I don't know, a delicate to topic. And I don't usually, like for considering like adopting or, or fostering somebody, that might be something. I just feel there is a need for you. It's like you have a really large heart. You have a lot to give, a lot of love to give. And I feel like a lot of experiences to share with the world. Um, and so you need to find a release for them. Um, because I feel like there there is a need. You are in a sense transforming, going um, towards places. And I'm not, and, and the reason why I say, adopting or fostering is not because I'm not saying that you're not going to get pregnant or anything. That's not it. It just, I feels like <laughs> even with one, even with like, it just like, there's more, there's so much love that you want to give or like, again, like I said, volunteering somewhere where there's kids. I just feel like there's so much love for you to give, um, that it's just, it's just not enough. And there's like, I, I, a healing that I think children in, will help you to heal. I don't know if that makes sense. And I, like I said, this is a very specific message. So please do take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, but I, I do feel like there is a lot of, yeah, energy that we need to balance here. Let's go ahead and release. So it's time to release the past and move on to something new. The ending is the first step on my way to a happier future. Yeah. And you are, look, because you're on course. You're on course to a happier future. And let's look at the swan. This is time for deep emotions and height. This is a time of deep emotions and high intuitions that you can trust completely. Be mindful. You don't, you don't ignore your own needs while caring for others. Okay, that's also a very important thing. So there is that sense. Okay, that balance of me are of service. Okay, that that makes a lot of sense. Thank you, spirit. Um, we because you have the sense like you really have a large heart where you just give give. Um, but there is a sense of balance of also clearing, like, that's why we also have the sage here, clearing your energy not to take on anybody else's energy, right? We do have that there, and I'm glad there is more clarity in that. Um, so so there is that sense, yeah, needing to clear that energy that isn't yours. But I do feel like there is a sense of needing to heal something from the past, whatever that tower experience was, um, whether it was related to, you know, pregnancy or whether it wasn't, there's a tower moment that needs to be um, released, expressed uh, in a creative manner. I really do feel like there's a sense of creativity. Sharing your story is what I keep hearing, sharing your story, because you somehow it will be um, inspirational to others. I really feel that that's very important. So I hope that makes sense to you. All right, so any day now for some of you who, who are like, when is it happening? Any day now. <laughs> I love that. And it says something better. So whatever this experience was, it's because something better is coming forward. I do feel like that sh the shift or whatever this death also card is, we're releasing, whatever we're releasing, we had to experience that for something better. There's a sense of freedom. The, the horses are like, you are more free now um, than you ever were <laughs> before. So I do like that, and that's what we're doing. So collaborations again. Um, yeah, I don't know that it comes in here again, again, because we had the the purity. It's a collaboration. It's a sense I feel like collaborating with others is going to help you heal somehow. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. I do see the three. I do like that because to me it's like uh, an abundance of um, like I feel like there's abundance all around you. So much love, so much love, so much love, so much love you gotta give. I'm just like, wow. I really love it. And look at that. Luck is on your side. Yay! I love that, I love that, I love that. Let's see what your charms. Oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, okay. We have that. And the little turtle wanted to come in. Let's see what other stuff it is. Okay, we have P, P, Z, A, Parent Teacher Association. I don't know. There's no T. Okay, so the last letter of your name. That's also important. Yeah, celebrating, being happy. Again, 
coming here at the death card is coming again turtle is um actually you know the turtle for me is again it is finding it for me finding balance things going slowly but surely moving forward um but it just for me it is like sort of a cleaning a healing that needs to be done i love this because we have kind compassionate brave peace free true strong happy thankful those are all qualities that you have i don't know if you acknowledge them yet but those are it uh, look at that you have a ninja energy here that's i feel like your sense of um maybe they're like something silent right silent like a silent defense i do feel like you are being watched over and taken care of <laughs> i don't know why um and you're a lot stronger than you think you are i think that's an important message i want to say that you're a lot stronger than you think you are and i i feel like People may not recognize it right away, but they will. Um, and I do feel like there is very like energy here. So playfulness, needing for playfulness again. Um, and I really feel like you do really well with kids. Like if you can, <laughs> like working with them is going to help you in some way. <laughs> um, I almost feel like you would become very much a protector of them as well. So I'm going to leave that there. <laughs> But I overall, like, I feel like you have very good energy, lots of um, interesting energy. So hopefully this made sense. If you like this reading, please do consider um, liking and subscribing. It really helps my channel grow and it makes me you know, come back for more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like it. Um, I am sending you, like, beautiful energy. I, I realized that I actually talked about this, like, more about wanting to get pregnant versus that you are. Um... yeah that's the energy i feel so <laughs> sorry if you're pregnant already maybe that wasn't it but there is something here about taking care of, of others so sorry <laughs> but just I, occurred to me but anyways thank you so much i feel blessed that you're here i feel completely honored that you're here sharing your energy sharing your time and of course sharing your journey with me i am sending you lots and lots of happy joy joy <laughs> and like light and love until I see you in the next one. Bye-bye, my dear friends.